There was a bunch of new coaching hires this offseason, but one of the most interesting hires of this whole offseason was Jonathan Smith becoming the new head coach for Michigan State. Jonathan Smith was the former Oregon State head coach. He led Oregon State to back-to-back -back ranked seasons in 2022 and 2023, and Oregon State was a terrible team before Jonathan Smith got there. So it was pretty great to see what Jonathan Smith could accomplish at Oregon State. Ultimately, Oregon State is now a dumpster fire again because of conference realignment and also because of all of the players that they lost through the portal, but Jonathan Smith probably made the right decision by leaving Oregon State. But turning a team like Michigan State around is going to be a very difficult task for Jonathan Smith. And Jonathan Smith will have to dig Michigan State out of the hole just like he did rebuilding Oregon State. But this time around, it's going to be much more difficult for Jonathan Smith because he will be playing against some of the toughest college football teams in America. And Michigan State is in the Big Ten Conference. And the Big Ten is turning into a super conference. Michigan State had one good season under Mel Tucker in 2021 when they won 11 games. But since then, Michigan State has struggled to win games. They've had back-to-back -back losing seasons, and the offense was atrocious last season. So there is really a lot to clean up. Because Michigan State is coming off a 4-8 and season, which was their worst finish to a season since 2016. But if anybody could turn Michigan State around, then I think it could potentially be Jonathan Smith. And in this video, I wanted to talk about what I think about Michigan State football heading into next season. And honestly, I have a lot of questions about what this team is going to be, which is pretty reasonable. But I also think there are reasons to be optimistic about the future of Michigan State football. The schedule isn't too difficult in 2024. They have some tough games against Michigan, Ohio State, and Oregon. But every other game on that schedule, Michigan State could definitely compete in. And Jonathan Smith has had a pretty great offseason so far. He brought in four-star quarterback Aiden Childs from Oregon State. Aiden Childs was the backup to DJ Uwe Youngale last season, but during the time Aiden Childs played last season as a freshman, he looked very impressive. He didn't play much, but during the time he played, he had zero interceptions, and he threw for over 300 yards and four touchdowns with the completion percentage in the high 60s. So I really think Aiden Childs was a big transfer portal addition for Michigan State. And right now, Michigan State has a top five transfer portal class in the Big Ten, according to 24-7 Sports. And they have completely overhauled the roster by bringing in 24 transfers. This could possibly be a team that turns it around quicker than people expect. I think Jonathan Smith was an excellent hire for Michigan State. And he has shown his ability to rebuild a bad program in the past. And anything is possible with the quarterback. And Aiden Childs is a young quarterback with a lot of potential. And I know Michigan State has been a very bad program as of lately, but they also had their good seasons not so long ago. And if Jonathan Smith uses his resources necessary, then maybe this is a team that can get back to winning double-digit games like they were in the 2010s. It's obviously going to take time, but when I evaluate the roster and schedule for Michigan State in 2024, I think this is definitely a team that could take a step up, and they could definitely make a bowl game in 2024. And in five years, who knows where this team could be if Jonathan Smith remains the head coach. The defense has a lot of younger talent. There were a lot of active true freshmen last season for Michigan State. Defense alignment Jalen Thompson had 19 tackles, and he started the final four games of last season at defensive end. He also had eight tackles for loss and two sacks last season. A big player for this defense is linebacker Jordan Hall. He is another young guy on that defense who really stood out as a freshman. He had 67 tackles, 7 tackles for loss, and 4 sacks last season. We will see how the new defensive coordinator Joe Rossi develops Jordan Hall in year 2, because Jordan Hall has potential to be a beast. And another player to watch out for is Chance Rucker. He had 23 tackles, 4 pass breakups, and 1 interception last season. And again, he's another freshman for this team, so he should help out the secondary in 2024. We'll see how Michigan State handles injuries in 2024 because they really have had their fair share of concerns at injuries the past couple of seasons. But Michigan State added a new strength and conditioning coach, who was Mike McDonald, and he was with Jonathan Smith and the coaching staff at Oregon State. This is a completely revamped coaching staff, and Jonathan Smith is putting his full investment into this Michigan State team. And I do think he is truly all in to rebuilding this team. Michigan State also has some talent returning on the offensive side of the ball. They returned their leading receiver from last season, Foster Jr. They also returned Jaron Glover, and they returned Antonio Gates Jr., who has a very bright future for the Spartans. And he could get much more involved in the offense in 2024. 
I think the offense has a lot of potential to grow. And let me tell you, adding Aiden Child should really set the foundation of what the offense will be in 2024. The offensive line also added multiple new additions through the transfer portal. Jonathan Smith brought in multiple players from Oregon State. Aiden Childs was one of those big players. But Michigan State also brought over offensive lineman Tanner Miller from Oregon State. He spent five seasons at Oregon State, and he played in 40 career games for Oregon State, and he started 14 of them. He earned second-team All-Pac-12 honors last season, so he was a solid veteran pickup on the offensive line for Michigan State. Michigan State also added a 6'4", 310-pound offensive lineman from the FCS, and that guy is Luke Newman, who should also be a starter on the offensive line for Michigan State next season. And he was a two-time FCS All-American, and he is also a veteran with one more year of eligibility left. More recently, Michigan State also added four-star offensive lineman Andrew Dennis from Illinois, and he was one of the better available offensive linemen this spring. So those were three pretty solid pickups on the offensive line for Michigan State this offseason. And of course, Jonathan Smith brought over another big addition from Oregon State. And he brought over one of the most productive players from that Oregon State offense last season. And that guy is tight end Jack Velling. He had 438 yards and 8 touchdowns as a sophomore last season for Oregon State. And he should really be a big piece for that Michigan State offense in 2024. Michigan State also brings back Nate Carter who ran for 800 yards last season. And he was the only productive running back for Michigan State last season. Michigan State didn't have anybody else that ran for even 100 yards. So Jonathan Smith had to pick up another running back to support Nate Carter in the backfield. And Jonathan Smith definitely did that because he picked up Lynch Adams from UMass who ran for over 1,000 yards in 2023. So he should definitely be a solid backup for Nate Carter in 2024. There's a lot of new additions that can really make an impact for this offense. But you also return some of the top stars on the offensive side of the ball next season. The offense was terrible last season, but I do think the offense should definitely improve in 2024. And I guess I should also mention that Michigan State didn't just bring in Aiden Childs at quarterback. They also brought in quarterback Tommy Schuster from North Dakota State. And he is actually the all-time career leader in passing yards for North Dakota State. He passed for over 2,000 yards, 19 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions last season. And he definitely adds a lot more depth than that Michigan State quarterback room. But let's kind of look at the big additions on the defensive side of the ball. Because Jonathan Smith has really added a lot this offseason. And I know Michigan State had 36 players transfer out, and that could be a concern, but I'm deciding to focus on the positives because I do think this is a situation where the positives can outweigh the negatives because they really have picked up a lot of quality players this offseason. And last Friday, Jonathan Smith picked up not one, not two, but three players on the defensive side of the ball. Three-star cornerback Martinez from UCF, three-star cornerback Huges from LSU, and three-star linebacker Bridgman from Michigan. All three of those players can fill a role next season, especially the two additions that Michigan State could desperately use in the secondary. They also recently added defensive tackle Ben Roberts from Oregon. Michigan State lost Derek Harmon, who was a big loss at defensive tackle, but Ben Roberts should be a solid replacement on the defensive line for Michigan State, and I think he could really be a solid player for Michigan State next season. Michigan State also added Quindarius Dunnigan on the edge. He's a 6'4", 256-pounder who earned second-team Conference USA honors last season. And he recorded 35 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, and 3 sacks last season for Middle Tennessee. They also added linebacker Jordan Turner from Wisconsin, who started 18 games the past two seasons for the Badgers. He posted 61 tackles, 3 sacks, and a forced fumble in 2023, and he should definitely be a starter for Michigan State in 2024. But one of the most impressive additions Michigan State had this offseason was bringing in four-star linebacker Wayne Matthews from Old Dominion. And I know he's only from an FCS school, but he was 11th in the country last season with 135 tackles. He could really do it all on the field. He had 9.5 tackles for loss, 3.5 sacks, 3 pass breakups, 3 forced fumbles, and a fumble recovery for Old Dominion in 2023. He should really be a big addition on the defensive side for Michigan State. Michigan State is really adding a lot of new faces next season, and they really had a complete roster overhaul. So this is going to be a new era of football for Michigan State moving forward. They have a lot of young talent and a lot of new additions on this team, and this is a very fascinating team in my opinion, and that is exactly why I am talking about them in today's video. I think this is a bullbound team or better in 2024, and that is just my honest opinion. When I look at their schedule, I see a lot of games that are winnable. 
And I think they have what it takes to win a lot of those games next season. I would say the floor is somewhere around 5 to 6 wins. And the ceiling is somewhere around 8 to 9 wins. And when I do my preseason predictions for each conference, I will likely have them higher than most people would. And that just shows that I do believe in head coach Jonathan Smith. But I really do think that Michigan State has the right foundation to be a winning football team moving forward. They have a solid head coach and a quarterback with a lot of potential, and that is always a great place to start. They need to probably get more active in the recruiting trail if they want to reach their ceiling. So we will see how Jonathan Smith does in the recruiting trail long term at Michigan State because there is a lot of work that needs to be done in recruiting. And that could truly make or break if Michigan State can break the glass ceiling with Jonathan Smith at head coach. But I definitely think there are reasons to be optimistic about the future of Michigan State football. But we also kind of have to just let it play out and wait and see with Michigan State. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think about Michigan State heading into 2024 down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider following my socials down in the description below. But that is going to do it, guys, and peace out.